In Activity 1, What is a Shadow? Students go outdoors on a sunny day to observe and describe a shadow. They first define what a shadow is and then identify three things needed to produce a shadow. Sunshine, an object to block the light, and a surface on which the shadow is cast. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 1. You will also need to provide My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student. This activity must be done on a sunny day, although a few fair weather clouds are not a problem. Select an outdoor area where the students will be able to see their shadows. Finally, obtain a copy of the poem My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson. To begin the activity, take the students outside on a sunny day. Instruct them to line up with their backs to the sun. Tell them to look at the ground in front of them and ask students, what do you see? If the students do not mention the word, tell them that they are seeing their shadows and that they should point to them. Then invite volunteers to describe their shadows. Students may mention that their shadows are dark and have a shape similar to the shape of their bodies. Next, ask students, what happens to your shadow when you move? Students should notice that their shadows move when they move. Help them observe that as long as they remain in the sun, they cannot get away from their shadows. Then ask your students, will your shadow wave back if you wave to it? Instruct students to wave to their shadows. They should see their shadow waving back. Next, instruct the students to turn around and face the sun. Make sure to warn the students not to look directly at the sun, as doing so can cause severe eye damage. Ask students, what happened to your shadow? Students should note that their shadows are now behind them. Then ask, will your shadow still wave back to you if you wave your hand? Students discover that their shadows still reflect their movements. Instruct students to turn back to face their shadows and ask, what is the difference between the area on the ground with the shadow and the area without the shadow? Students will observe that the area with the shadow is darker then ask, why is the shadow darker than the area around it? Guide students to understand that the sunlight is blocked in the area where the shadow is. Ask students, what blocks the sunlight? Students should respond that their bodies are blocking the sunlight. Next, ask students, how would you explain what a shadow is? Students should articulate that a shadow is a dark shape cast upon a surface by something that blocks the light from that surface. Ask, what three things are needed to produce a shadow? Students should mention sunshine or any light, an object, and the ground or other surface where the shadow is seen. Ask students, on a cloudy day, will you have a shadow? If no, why not? The students should respond that there is no sunshine to make the shadows on a cloudy day. If the day is partly cloudy, have the students wait for a cloud to pass in front of the sun to see that their shadows disappear. Ask students, do you see any areas of shade? To assist them, point out that shade, like a large shadow, is an area partly darkened because something is blocking off light from it. Students may point out shaded areas that are the shadows of trees or buildings. Back in the classroom, give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 1 to fill out, and instruct students to circle a picture if a shadow of the child or dog can form in that picture. Then review the answers with them. Make sure that they understand and remember the three things needed to produce a shadow. Sunshine or light, an object to block the light, and a surface for the shadow to fall on. Finally, read the class Robert Louis Stevenson's poem, My Shadow, from a Child's Garden of Verses or other poetry collection. Ask students, how does your shadow compare to the shadow in the poem? Allow students plenty of time to react to the poem. Guide them to understand that their shadows move with them. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.